It's actually pretty cool. Lately, we've been seeing a lot more black faces and stuff like the media, you know, film and television, corporate America, and even the government in some cases. Right. Yeah, you know, that's true. But you still hear the first black this, the first black that, mm. even today. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get into all of that on today's show and figure out how all of that ties in and affects, you know, how people see us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we're going to be breaking down representation, what it means and how it affects black America. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about representation, representation. I know it's something that I say a lot mm -hmm. on the show, but now today we're actually going to break down its importance. So. Mm -hmm. What does representation actually mean, okay. you think? What does it mean? For the black community? For the black community specifically, because okay. we're focusing on black, black, blackness. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. what does it mean? I think, I think for me, um, representation means being seen mm -hmm. um, in, in, a, in a particular space, you know what I mean? Where there, so say, where there are none mm -hmm. and where there should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, a black person or black people in a particular space. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying that we should be everywhere, but I know there's places we definitely should be because <laughs> mm. we may be there in one aspect and not in the other. Right. And I'll get into that right. later. And I, yeah. and I think a lot of that also is seeing, is representation. I guess, well, I guess to your point, or maybe sort of expanding on that point, mm. seeing us in spaces where we normally aren't and you know to counteract the spaces where people typically think we are mm. right you know right. you know sort of like the ca like the caricatures and stuff like that right okay. Right. Okay. And, you know how we how we're portrayed as right. in one certain a yeah gotcha. as okay. certain okay. Yeah, as you know cuz where we've been shut out of exactly you know right. black people on a monolith not, not right at all. no mm -hmm. no and that that just kind of brings to mind when you're in corporate spaces we talk about we're seeing more people in corporate spaces mm -hmm. but you look at some of the ads that are out there or have been out there that b have been very controversial, uh -huh. you're wondering, was there a black person at that table before they greenlit that ad? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So that's important to have uh -huh. people in those spaces where uh -huh. we're typically not. Right, whether it's commercials <laughs> or whether it's movies, uh -huh. too. Right, uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. exactly. So, yeah, I think also part of representation and the importance of it is, you know, the aspect of being seen as like a whole person. Mm -hmm. You're right. You know, right. like a whole person who, you know, isn't all the way evil, isn't all the way good. You know, they're not, you know, a devil or the magical Negro. We're human beings. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> Mr. Magical Negro. We're not the magical Negro, <laughs> nor are we the thugs about to jump, go come through your window. <laughs> right. You know, exactly. we're whole people. Brother, help, help, helping, helping the little white boy in the film. It's <laughs> right, like, hey. Right, right. Right. <laughs> exactly. So I think that is an important piece because, mm. yes, we're human. We make mistakes. Yes. Yeah. And we should be allowed that grace, just like, you know, everybody like else. Right, are. right. Definitely. And, and I love the, the magical Negro piece. Didn't Key and Peele do a whole segment? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Because that's a real thing. <laughs> that is true. It, it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, and it's, it's polar opposites. It's like, no, it's either we're there to solve the issue for right. the other people, right. or we're like the detriment or the villain to the other people. Right. Right. We can't have, we, have, we can't be interesting. Yeah. 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 Didn't that go back? I don't Very know, it may go back actually. to the days of of like movies you've seen like with the mammies and stuff like that. Oh, the yeah. nice Karen mm -hmm. I guess which kinda dates back to slavery. Right, and then the black, you know, the black gardener who right. always got, mm -hmm. you know, drops some knowledge. Drops some knowledge yeah. of the <laughs> What was that movie, uh, Will Smith, uh, Bag of Bag of Ants? Yeah, Will Smith was the, uh, Matt Damon was the golfer. Oh! Uh, uh, right, yeah. Uh -huh. He was like the, Yeah, he was yeah. pretty much, yeah, it was like one of his early films or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, and it was like the magical but, Negro kind of archetype. Magical Negro, yeah. Right, right archetype, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Exactly. But exactly. like you said, a whole person, that's what we all oh, whole, We're a whole person. So, we, one of, one of the things that we really wanted to talk about, too, was representation in sports. And mm -hmm. I know you had brought up. Oh, yeah something about that so if you could speak to sports mm -hmm. well i mean it's just a whole thing i had just posted something on my my personal uh instagram and john thompson was talking about you know giving up being given opportunities as far as coaches mm -hmm. and he was stating that you know basically in order to be a black coach i guess he's speaking in, in terms of co maybe college basketball but but in any in, in any case mm -hmm. you know it's like you see it at the national you, level yeah you have to be like the perfect coach you can't 
you can't lose. You got to be the best of the best. As a black coach. Meanwhile, other right. coaches can be mediocre yeah. and have their jobs forever. They can stay right. on as coaches, mm-hmm. you know, for a long time. But it, for a black coach, it's, you mm-hmm. know, it's like a one and done. Yeah. You have one losing season or mediocre season or even an average season. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, you know, it's, it's you're out of there. I mean, you could just take a look at the NFL right now. The mm-hmm. 32 teams and we only have one black coach. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Crazy. Tal- yeah. Talison, yeah. And he's an outstanding. He, I don't think he's had a, a losing, losing season. And wow. that's, that's you know, that's the thing. You got to be an exceptional coach. Mm-hmm. We got to work twice as hard to get just as much as them. Yeah. Right. So, and, I mean, that, that, yeah. Yeah. and the thing with him is that he probably, you know, with him being the only black coach now in the, um, you know, it's like that whole thing of we have to represent all I was Negroes. Just say that. <laughs> right. Yes, exactly. You gotta represent That's all also of us. Another thing. A, yeah. a, a coach, a That's coach true. in the NFL, like a you know, like a normal sort of like white coach, can just be themselves. They're right. not. They're not withholding to. Right. They're not representing the yeah. whole they represent, white race. Yeah. So. They represent yeah. the they, they're not representing their collective. Exactly. So it, just to that point, I'm not in sports, but I'm in education, <laughs> and it goes to that too. So when I mm. when I took on a position, being mm. one, the only black person in a space, mm. and mm. even being asked that on an interview, right. how do I feel about that? It's it's kind of it's a lot of pressure. Oh, yeah, because you have sure. to make sure that you don't say the wrong thing and you mm-hmm. act a certain proper way mm-hmm. and it's it's a lot of pressure. So I'm sure he feels a lot of pressure in that same way. And it's not uh, even like the noticing of it. It's like cuz I mean it's, I mean sorry. So what so when you're in that space, other people under other people know that too. Mm-hmm. Right. Or other people will sort of like speak on that. Like once I was at a I was at a, a like a like a camp or a camp thing for a college tour mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. and I was the only black male there, right. and and attention was pointed towards that because that's what it was. You know, I might I might have done it. I don't know if they were doing it. I don't really know how that sort of like worked combination out. Combination of the two, but it, yeah, right. probably a combination of the two. Right. But it was but it was no it was, it was noticeable to me, mm-hmm. and it was even noticeable to them because it was like, oh here's white kid, white kid, white kid, white kid. Oh oh there's the, oh there's the there's the there's the Negro over there. There's the, yeah. the unicorn. Yeah exactly right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Meanwhile, they could be in spaces and now don't have that pressure right. at all. It's very interesting. The, yeah, it really you know. is interesting how that happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and we're a media family, indeed. Right? Yeah. What about in media? Oh. Representation in media. Well, now we could yeah. we could talk about this forever, this right? Be a whole episode. <laughs> yeah, right. But but it again in that you know because what I was going for it was an art school, and in in a lot of spaces in media, it's kind of hard to find a lot of us it's getting it's gotten so much better now yes. that we have people not only in yeah. front of the camera but behind the camera because that's right. just as important right. to have because that's that's who's going to get people through the door in order to actually right. make moves right. Right. Exactly. Um, speaking yeah. of powerhouses like that my girl Issa Rae yeah secure without a doubt I mean doing that thing in front of and behind the camera mm-hmm. definitely just blackety black talent I right. love it mm-hmm. and jobs galore jobs what does that representation mean for you so the representation for me, and I've, I've, I've told you guys this before, like when Insecure came out and I, I didn't watch Awkward Black Girl, but I started watching Insecure. Mm-hmm. And when mm-hmm. I was watching it, I was like, wow, mm-hmm. this is actually the first time in my short, you know, 20 some years of life that I felt like I could actually relate, like fully relate. Mm-hmm. to a main character mm-hmm. first time mm-hmm. yeah. and I, there's other characters that i could kind of relate to and like yeah. you know like a Susie carmichael i mentioned or like, oh right mm-hmm. like number five from kids next door like you know it was cool seeing black girls but mm-hmm. but as we said before we're not a monolith so seeing her mm-hmm. like a regular schmegular she she related to you black girl from the burbs mm-hmm. i was like wow that's super that's, awkward that, yeah. that was, that, that was <laughs> right. awkward and stuff. like that that resonated that that makes me emotional it's kind of it's kind of like, kinda like me it's kind of right. like me with like i uh, i look at somebody like donald glover for example mm-hmm. and some and some of the roles that he would be in right and would see myself in that wow right, right. in terms of being again mm-hmm. not like you know, he raps or whatever, but it's not like, you know, we see black men as like thugs or something like that or in that sports. That hyper masculinity. Exactly, exactly that hype that so hyper masculine yeah. sort of like mm-hmm. thing right. which, you know, was never sort of like me. Mm. Uh, the closest I can get to with that kind of stuff is maybe like superheroes, which is still sort of in that space, but not in the same <laughs> yeah. sort of like I guess maybe, wow. maybe kind of potentially toxic way or whatever. Mm. But here's this guy that's just kind of just like a, 
a dork, like an absolute <laughs> yeah, right. dork. Right. You know, and fun loving, dorky, mm -hmm. whatever. Right. You know, like quick, different. quick witted, but mm -hmm. different. Quick -witted, but different. Just different. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly. even say. I would never say say dork. I'd say just different. Yeah. And the thing, but but the thing with that different piece too, and I think in terms of representation, it plays yeah. like maybe he's not different. Mm -hmm. Maybe we just don't see him. Right. Maybe he's just not different, you know? Like, yes. we come across these Maybe guys just in our family, they're our different. friends. Mm -hmm. They're not right. different, they're just point. not shown. Absolutely, yeah. I love they're, they're, in, they're in households all across America. Right. right. Mm -hmm. But you don't see them. Right. You don't see them. So that, that's the whole point of the representation. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. That's that's it in a nutshell. It Boom. really is. You know when a, when a so kid, when you yeah. see that, mm -hmm. them, those those people like that are like, oh. oh right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. They were My like, leader. I'm not I'm not what they what they think I am supposed to be. Exactly. I can be going back to this. that whole person. Right. Yes. I could mm -hmm. have my flaws. I could be a geek. I could be someone who likes something that might be out of what people would normally the think. Norm. Exactly. And I think, and again, exactly. and we're seeing that so much more nowadays. Like I see so many people, I see more black people even, you know, in increasingly, spaces. increasingly in different spaces. Right. Like you have a lot of people that do like sports and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. I've been seeing more people do stuff like, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. Like I see but, black folk doing that. Right. And it's like, yo, yeah. look at that. You know, it's, yeah. it's cool. We don't always just <laughs> rap and shoot jump shots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know. We do a lot of different things. So that, you know. We're pretty <laughs> versatile. Did you ever have a jump shot? No, my jump shot oh. was, was fluid. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> not to say we, not to say not we can't do it. Not to say we can't do it. Not to say we don't. Hey, hey, don't be mistaken. No, don't get it. Don't get it. Did you rap? And I rap. <laughs> <laughs> but I read comic books. Okay, too. okay. You know there you go. Talk about it. You know, I was a little geeky too. You know, not that geeky. I was no. always smooth. <laughs> It's okay. You know, to be but geeky. it's so no, it's so crazy. It's great to be geeky. You you can we see need more people. nerds out there. That's right. We, we need more people. nerds and less thugs. Yeah. If we had that, we you know be a whole lot better mm -hmm. for, yeah. for us. You know what I'm saying? Real and talk. That's the thing. It's like you know. Also, and I think I was telling you this before. <laughs> it's like not seeing black people commonly gravitate towards something. It makes you sometimes feel mm -hmm. like, am I less black because I like rock? Am that's I less a whole black thing. Because I love anime. Mm -hmm. Like. But now, I think even the difference from when, like, when we were in like high school to now is yeah. even like way better. Yeah, one hundred percent. Now That's people are now people are less afraid yeah. to show the sides of size. themselves. Yeah. Yeah. and that comes with so. and that comes with representation. That comes mm -hmm. with seeing people in the media, like uh, enjoying different stuff. Like anime, you see like a Michael B. Jordan rocking stuff yeah. from like Naruto and stuff like that, right. and it's like, oh, okay, it's, we it's, cool, we cool. It's with funny because you're talking about now, because I'm thinking about people like back when you know I was in school, and, and, and you're right, um, people who if you didn't fit a certain mm. image, I'm talking about the black right. males, mm -hmm. right. if you didn't you if you didn't fit a certain image, you were kind of you know you may not. I don't know about my crew. You weren't made fun of, but kind of you. You were on, categorized. You were, you were categorized. You were, yeah, you were, you were, on, the you were on the yeah. outs a little bit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If you if right. you wore different clothes, if you weren't back in my day, you weren't wearing the Lees and you know the tiger shirt or eyes looking all shirt. cute. And yeah, and even I, and yeah, but you even, were looked at a little different. You wore, right. you know, you I don't know, maybe you wanted to wear leg warmers or something. Right. But no, but it's it's crazy you yeah. say that because even True. even when I was in high school, uh -huh. there were parts thing? of that. Yeah, it was. I okay. felt parts of that. Yeah. I mean, but you had, but it was one of those things where. Or if there was different programs that I had to enter to go sort of, I had to go sort of out of my way in order right. to make sure I found other black kids like me who mm. liked that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Like I had to, yeah. vent, I had to venture out because I mean I had friends that were into that stuff, but a lot of them were white a mm -hmm. lot of the time. Right. You know, when I was going to school, and I had to venture out of wow. that in order to actually find black friends who everyone mm -hmm. have the and same sort of like things. Right, and they're there, and, we're, they and that's exist. right, and I think that was very intentional because. Mm we tried to put you both in spaces where you would have experiences with black people. Right. Yeah. So you could see more black people right. per se mm -hmm. doing different things than, right. the, you know, you know, you had black friends in school, you know, there's right. black people in school, mm -hmm. but the school that you went to wasn't predominantly black. No. So we had to find different things or outlets for you to right. be able to experience your culture. Also. Right. Like, mm -hmm. like, like Ujama. Ujima. Ujima. Ujima rather. Yeah. Um, Axo. Axo. Mm -hmm. You know, so those are, those are things that we mm -hmm. thought were important for you to be involved with. And those are the reasons why those programs kind exist. of exist and even in those in, in a lot of those cases you had people who were in government who were in government positions who were in posi who were in positions that were sort of related into your field that were doing the things that you kind of or at least thinking you would want to do exactly and part of that and part of that is representation and it's great that you know you have more of that 
you know, in the sort of like black community. And I mean, you're seeing it even reach farther out into other communities. Mm -hmm. You have Encano with, you know, Mm -hmm. Latin, you know, Latinas, and Latinas, and all of that. That's you have right. something like Shang Chi, you know, for right. superheroes yes, for Asian communities. Yeah, LGBTQ uh, plus right. communities have, mm -hmm. you know, are getting, you know, right. more of their dues. Right. And it's like, mm -hmm. you know, and it's good, and it's good that this is sort of like an increasing thing. And I just hope that you know it, it stays. Continues. Yeah, that right. it continues. And not only is it a good thing, obviously it's a good thing because you want people to see it. But it's also good for corporations. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. they make money. That makes them money. It's, it's literally right? proven that diversity yeah. increases. Diversity matters. Inclusion and... matters. Right. Seeing black people in, right. in, in spaces and in, from everything from media to books mm -hmm. to all We buy of that. stuff. We buy a lot. We buy stuff. <laughs> we spend a lot of money. We're going to spend money on it. We spend a lot of money. Spend money. Spend it's, it's, of money. Right. Shoot, people in general will spend money. Shit, you know how right. you know why the Fast and Furious franchise is doing as well as it is? Why? Please tell me. <laughs> I like I like those, we need I like to those know. movies. Yeah, I need to know. It's because oh, wow. there's black people in it, there's Latino people in it, mm. and people like oh, that go to the that. movies. You're right. I never thought about that. Right. They that's go, they go to the movies. That's a very good point, actually. Yeah. And that's why that's why it's doing it's as diverse. well as it is. Yeah. Right. It's a diverse cast. And people right. want to see that. What are they on? F F seventeen or something? No, uh they're gonna film ten soon. All right, so <laughs> so we're talking about res uh, representation. Yes. We want to know your thoughts on representation. Please. How mm -hmm. can people check out more of this representation right here? Oh, yeah, we're, is that good? I like that. Good? I saw like, what you did. I like that. Okay. I like that. Good times. Where, where can they see it? So, if you want to continue this conversation with us, definitely follow us on social media. We have Instagram, we got TikTok, Facebook, oh. Twitter, and we also have YouTube. And maybe you're watching this on YouTube. If you are, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, yes. and if you see the notification bell, hit that little bell so you get notified whenever we put out more content. Ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let's kick it with the Joneses, and we will see you next time. Hey everyone, it's Black History Month and we are celebrating black excellence. If you know anybody that's an educator, a scientist, an activist, anybody that exudes that black excellence, we want to hear from you. So why don't you guys send us who you want to nominate, whoever fits that black excellence bill. And stay tuned to our upcoming episodes throughout the month of February. <laughs>